As the world gets more and more competitive, we're seeing more signs of people at the top of their game turning to nootropics to gain an advantage and essentially quote unquote hack their brain. So in this video, we're going to discuss exactly what nootropics are, the different types of nootropics and a list of my favorite nootropics because I've been dabbling in this field for the last four to five years. To start off, I want to clarify that there is no magic pill. This isn't the movie Limitless where you can take a pill and suddenly Suddenly, you can calculate physics equations off the top of your head. I also do not support self-medicating with drugs such as Adderall without a doctor's prescription to enhance your performance. Drugs like this help you for a short period of time, but the side effects and the toll it takes on your body is not worth it. The term nootropics simply refers to the wide range of synthetic and natural compounds that are thought to improve your brain's function. Things like focus, motivation, memory, and even mental clarity. In order in order for something to be a nootropic, there should be no serious side effect. This rule means that most nootropics will only offer you a slight edge, not some crazy 4 hour high. The only nootropics you should look into are the ones with decades of research backing them up. It is your responsibility to conduct further research on these supplements before you start taking them and you should also consult with your doctor. There are literally hundreds of different nootropics out there so it can be very confusing at first. However, all of these can be broken down into two major categories. First, we have synthetic nootropics. These are substances created in labs that have been found to be cognitively enhancing with little to no side effects. Most of these substances came into the picture less than 50 years ago and this includes things like the Racetam family and Modafinil. Most of these substances have been shown to be safe to use in the short term, but it's hard to say whether or not they are safe in the long term if they've only been around for 20 years. Something also happened to me that really turned me away from synthetic nootropics. So there was a period of time in my life where I was willing to do just about anything in order to get a competitive edge. So I dived deep into the world of nootropics and came across something called modafinil. It's probably the most well-known synthetic nootropic out there as of right now. Modafinil's main purpose is to combat narcolepsy. However, it was found that it allowed its users to work for long periods of time without feeling tired. It was also extremely good for focus and concentration. And unlike Adderall, there were no serious side effects. It wasn't addictive, you didn't feel drained after it wore off. There was so much positive feedback about modafinil that it was even called the smart drug of Silicon Valley in one academic journal. So I got my hands on some and I started taking it once or twice a month whenever I needed to work for an extremely long period of time. For the first couple of months, it was fine. Nothing bad happened and I got tons of work done. However, one day I took it and I started feeling a bit itchy. I also noticed a tiny bruise forming on my arm. At the time, I didn't think it was the modafinil because I had already taken it for a couple of months prior. I thought it must have been allergies or some random bruise. The following week, I took modafinil again and that's when things got really, really weird. Bruises started appearing all over my body, on my chest, on my lip, on my arms, on my back, and these bruises started itching like crazy. The next day, I woke up to find that water-filled sacks started growing on these bruises and I freaked out I thought I was gonna die. It turns out I was having a severe allergic reaction to modafinil and luckily for me it didn't get worse. The bubbles went away but to this day I still have multiple round circle scars all over my body. After that incident I promised myself never to touch synthetic nootropics ever again. There simply is not enough long-term studies on these substances and their potential side effects which is why for the rest of this video I will only be speaking about natural nootropics. Natural nootropics are substances that can be found in the wild. Substances like tea, coffee, mushrooms, and herbal roots are all considered to be natural nootropics. And the great thing about natural nootropics is that they've been around for an extremely long period of time. So their effects have been observed for thousands of years. We know that tea won't kill you or shorten your lifespan because millions of people have drank it over the course of thousands of years and they've all turned out just fine. We also have a pretty clear picture about what they do and about their side effects, if there are any. And that's why for the rest of this video, I will 
only be speaking about my top six natural nootropics because those are the only ones I continue to take to this day. Number one is creatine. Creatine is a molecule that is produced naturally in our bodies. Its primary role is to help recycle ATP, which is essentially the energy currency for our cells. It can also be found in animal products such as eggs, meat, and fish. Creatine is one of the safest nootropics available today with hundreds of studies backing up its benefits. Its benefits include the ability to lift more, recover faster, and grow more lean muscle, which has made it a staple in the fitness community. There are tons of studies backing up the claim that creatine has cognitive improving functions. It improves your memory, your mental clarity, and your concentration. The hypothesis behind it is that it helps your brain run better by recycling ATP. The best form of creatine is creatine monohydrate. The standard dosage is 5 grams per day. Make sure you increase the amount of water you drink if you decide to take creatine. Some people also report feeling nauseous when supplementing creatine. The solution is to split up the dosage throughout the day and drink more water. Number two is omega-3 fatty acids. The human body requires two fatty acids in order to function properly. They are called omega-3 and omega-6. Our current diet, which consists of grains and wheat, provides way more than enough omega-6s, in fact, a bit too much. This imbalance has been hypothesized to cause a bunch of inflammatory issues like allergies. Omega-3s, on the other hand, are found in plants, algae, and fish. Supplementing omega-3 fatty acids has been shown to combat depression, decrease anxiety, decrease mental fog, and is generally healthy for your entire body. The general consensus is that most people would benefit greatly from supplementing omega-3s. When looking at a bottle of fish oil, you'll notice that there are individual fatty acids on it such as EPA and DHA. These are the omega-3 fatty acids that have been proven to work. Unfortunately, sources like flaxseed aren't high enough in EPA and DHA, so I wouldn't recommend taking them. There simply isn't enough literature to make strong claims. A proper dosage for omega-3s is 1,000 mg EPA and 500 grams of DHA daily. It's very important that you refrigerate your omega-3s as they do go bad if you leave them out. Number three is magnesium. Magnesium is an essential mineral that our body needs in order to function properly. Properly. It's estimated that more than half of Americans consume less magnesium than is required. A good source of magnesium are nuts and certain vegetables. Lack of magnesium has been linked to issues such as fatigue and insomnia. On the nootropic side of things, magnesium supplementation has been found to increase learning and memory. There are many forms of magnesium, but the one that has the most nootropic benefits is called magnesium L3 and 8. However, this form should be taken with other forms of magnesium because other forms of magnesium fulfill our our body's daily requirement more effectively. The standard dosage for magnesium is 200 to 400 milligrams per day. The next nootropic I'm going to talk about is called a stack, which is basically a combination of multiple nootropics that works well together. The nootropic stack I'm going to be talking about is probably the most notorious stack out there right now, and it's called the Siltep stack. Siltep is a publicly known formula that was created on a nootropics forum a couple of years ago. A very popular topic among people who use nootropics is something called LTP, which stands for long-term potentiation. Basically, how well your brain stores memories and processes new information. Theoretically, if you could enhance this, you would be able to learn better and concentrate harder. Siltep's main ingredient, which comes from artichokes, is believed to stimulate this pathway. I've used Siltep for quite a while now, and it's definitely something that helps me a lot in regards to writing. As someone who just about writes every single day, I find it a whole lot easier to get my work done when I supplement with Siltep. If you are interested in using the Siltep stack, you can get the formula online for free and buy the ingredients separately and just combine them, or you can go to to one of many online nootropic retailers who sell the stack as a whole. I do want to clarify that unlike the other five nootropics I mentioned in this video, Siltep is something that is considered to be pretty experimental. So make sure you do your own research on it before making any final decisions. Number five is dopamine precursors. So if you've been a prescriber of this channel for a long enough time, you'll know that I'm big on dopamine. One of the reasons I stress lifestyle changes like no fap, exercise, and meditation is because of what they do for your baseline 
baseline dopamine levels because dopamine is what motivates us to go out there and chase our goals without it all we're going to want to do is lay in bed all day and binge watch netflix an important part of increasing your baseline level of dopamine is making sure your body consumes all of the components needed to produce it you need to have l-phenyl and l-thyrosine which are literally the building blocks for dopamine both of which can be found in meats and dairy products you also need to have vitamin b6 vitamin c and selenium as they play a key role in the production of dopamine and these vitamins can be found in vegetables and nuts now obviously it's best to get these building block materials by eating natural foods but nowadays most people do not have a balanced enough diet to fit all of these needs so there are supplement products out there that fit the exact requirements to have healthy dopamine production and finally, number six is L-theanine. L-theanine is a natural component found in tea. It has the special property of being able to mitigate the side effects of caffeine, such as anxiety, increased blood pressure, and being unable to sleep. On top of that, L-theanine has been shown in studies to increase alpha brain waves, which are associated with concentration and focus. L-theanine is actually one of my favorite nootropics because I use it just about every time I consume caffeine. It makes the caffeine less jittery allowing me to focus better in fact many studies even back the claim that l-theanine plus caffeine is a much more effective combination than just caffeine the rule of thumb for L-theanine is to take whatever your caffeine dosage is and double that by two. So if I take 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is about what's in one energy drink, then I should pair it up with 200 milligrams of L-theanine if I want all of the benefits. And that's it. These are, in my opinion, the six most beneficial nootropics out there. If you decide to supplement with any of these nootropics, remember that your mileage may vary. It's important to test and see how you feel on and off these substances to see whether or not these substances are working for you because everyone's body is different this episode was brought to you with the help of the guys at natural stacks when supplementing with nootropics it's very important to make sure that the quality of the ingredients is good this is why i never buy my nootropics from the local grocery or the local supplement shop because i need to know exactly where they get their ingredients from natural stacks is one of the only nootropic companies out there that openly shares its sources for each and every single molecule vitamin and mineral they sell and because they openly share this information they make sure that they are only using the highest quality ingredients for all of their products now I've been using their supplements for some time now and one of my favorites is smart caffeine which combines caffeine and just the right amount of L-theanine so that I can work long hours without feeling the jitteriness that comes with caffeine another personal favorite of mine is called dopamine brain food it provides you with all the building blocks you need to increase your baseline level of dopamine you guys you guys can check them out via the link in the description box below. Anyone who uses this link will receive a 20% discount off of their entire order. Hope you guys found some value in this video and stay tuned.